Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Compound Interest Homework Number 1 Review. And our first question, the Franklins inherited $3,500. We say, want to invest for their future, the child's future college expenses. If they invest at 8.25% with interest compounded monthly, determine the value of the account in dollars after five years. Use the formula A equals P times 1 plus R over N, raise NT power. Where A is invested after two years, P is the principal invested, R is the annual interest rate, and N is the number of times compounded per year. So we have a formula, and what we want to do is determine, well, what values are what. So for example, this value of $3,500. That's the in amount invested, so that'll be P. So P is equal to 3,500, the principal invested. I know we sometimes use A sub zero, initial value. It's pretty much the same thing. Now, the next thing we have is 8.25%, and that'll be our R value, our annual rate of interest. So R is 8.25%, but keep in mind that we're not using the percent, we're using the decimal. So it'll be 0 0.0825. T, T in this case, is five years. So that's the, in this case, our T, five years. Now the last part is going to be the n value and n is equal to the number of times compounded per year now they don't tell us the number of times but they say interest compounded monthly well based upon this since monthly that means 12 months a year our n value is 12. So now we're going to fill in an A value we're trying to find. So A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N raised the NT power. We're going to take A is equal to 3,500 times 1 plus 0 0.0825 over 12, which is N raise the 12 times 5. And so what we're doing is we're just kind of pulling in the values for each item. Now off the top of my head, I don't know if I can calculus. So we'll need our graphing calculator. Let's see if I can pull up a graphing calculator. Let's clear this from before. And so we have in this case, the initial value was 3,500. So we have 1 plus our interest rate was 0 0.0825, but we're dividing that by the number of times interest is taken, which is 12. Close in parenthesis. We're going to raise both sides to the power of, well, n times t, which is 12, times 5. And this would count for your work, but this is what you're exactly plugging in. And we answer this, and we get... $5,279, $5,279, and it looks like if we're looking at the X, the decimal here, the five round up to one, 61 cents. So $5,279.61, okay? So that's our A value. And it says here, it doesn't say to round off to whatever, determine the, va the value count in dollars after five years. Okay, well, 5,000 is equal to $5,279.60, 61 cents. But in dollars, therefore, we'll probably round, we'll round this up here. Our answer will be 5,200 and it looks like $80 will be the answer for the first question. Miguel purchases a computer for $1,200 and figures the value of the computer will decrease by 27% per year. 
that's decreased by 27% per year, which is going to affect our R value. Write an exponent function a of t that models the value of computer after t years from purchase. Now, we've been using the model a of t equals a sub 0 times 1 plus r to t power. We are not compounding, so this is the general model we're going to use. So we want to find this, this formula here, and we know we have this value, 1,200. Well, our 1,200 will, will match up with the a sub 0, our initial value, being the value of this computer at the beginning when t equals 0. All right? And so we also know that r value, now the r value is decreasing. So r is, yes, 27%. However, negative 27%. This is the key thing. We're not adding value. We're taking away value. And so we enter this into our, our, our formula. We're going to have 0 0.27, but that's a negative, negative 0 0.27. And so when we plug this back into our formula here, we have A of T is equal to 1,200, the initial value, times 1. Now, plus negative is the same as minus a positive, so minus 0 0.27 raised to t power. And this will be part A. The formula we're going to use to figure out the value of Miguel's computer after t years from purchasing it. Now for part B. In part B, <clears throat> It's five years. Okay, so Miguel has had five computer five years now, and we want you know he wants to consider selling it, and he's offered two hundred seventy five dollars for his computer. And I paid twelve hundred for it though, but that was five years ago. And one of the things about technology is, unfortunately, over time most technology goes down in value, and so that being the case, we want to figure out what is the value after five years. So for part B, using Miguel's formula to figure out the value of the computer, a of 5 would take 1,200 times 1 minus 0 0.27 raised to the fifth power. And this will be the value of what Miguel predicts the computer should be. And so let's take a look now. So we have 1,200 times 1, and this time minus 0.27 close parenthesis, and we're going to raise it to the fifth power to find the value of the computer after five years. And it should go down because the rate is a negative value. So we get, in this case, a value of $248, and it looks like 77 cents. That's what Miguel is estimating his computer to be worth. Well, let's put that down. And so A of 5, the value of the computer after 5 years, will be about $248.77. That's how much Miguel figures to be. Now, someone is offering him $275. Well, should Miguel take his $275? And the answer is going to be, yeah. Why? Because we know in this case that 275 is greater than $248.77. Okay? And so we're going to comment here. Let's see if I can get a cursor here. Yep. We're going to comment and say, Miguel should, should take the offer since the value is the estimated value estimated value of his computer is less than the amount being offered all right so yeah he's going to for him it's it's worth it because in his mind the value computer is only worth $248.77 if someone's offering him more money for it it's a good deal for him now, the other person buying it, though, well, who knows why they're going to be paying that much money for a five-year-old computer.
maybe they just want to be able to have it for their for uh for someone else in any case this is what we'll have for the answer so i'll make this full page here okay and so we justify our answer how we find the value of the computer based upon the model we have after five years and then we compare it to the offer of the 275 from whoever's offering miguel the money for the computer okay ladies and gentlemen and this is this is the review for these two questions on compound interest there'll be more okay but hopefully this has been helpful to try to figure out how we approach these problems all right if you found this video helpful please give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you have done so please turn on notifications to be notified when new videos are added to the channel all right and of course i look forward to hearing any questions or comments in the comment section below thanks so much for watching look forward to seeing you in the next video take care and be safe.